peace. Welcome to our first video on the Conscious Spot. Today we're going to be making marinated mushrooms with gravy, quinoa, and butternut squash fries. So first I'm going to start off by marinating our portobello mushrooms with some coconut aminos, which is a great soy sauce alternative because there's no soy in it. Then we're gonna go in with just a few drops of liquid smoke. You only need a tiny, tiny bit, and it's really gonna give it that nice barbecue-y grill flavor. And then next, we're gonna go in with all of our dried seasonings. So first, we're starting off with onion powder. our pink Himalayan sea salt, cayenne pepper. Obviously this is optional depending on your spice preference, but we like it pretty spicy. Chili powder. And obviously, when you can, if you have access to it, it's always best to get organic seasonings because herbs are one of the most heavily sprayed products. And then lastly, we have some coriander. And then we're going to finish this off with our homemade mock garlic sauce because in the alkaline lifestyle, we don't use garlic. So this blend is, oh, and I forgot one thing, some red chili flakes for a little extra spice. But our garlic sauce, maybe we'll have a video um, on how we make our sauce. But basically it is shallot and ginger to get that garlicky taste with some herbs, some oil. And this is really going to enhance the flavor of the portobellos. And you can see there's you can see the chunks of the shallot and the ginger. I like to keep it chunky. And we're just gonna slather that on everywhere. And we can't forget about our fresh herbs. The fresh herbs and really are going to enhance any meal. So after this, I'm gonna shake it up and put that in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour while we prepare the rest of our delicious, delicious dinner. Next, we're gonna start seasoning our butternut squash fries. This was actually our first time making butternut squash fries. So all we did was just cut up the butternut squash and season it with some onion powder, some Himalayan salt, cayenne pepper, coriander, And lastly, some basil. Now, we were out, but if I had the choice, I probably would have seasoned this with some rosemary and thyme because that combination with butternut squash is delicious. But this was, it was really wonderful too. That's the great thing about all these foods is you can be so versatile and completely change the flavor depending on the herbs that you're choosing. And then to help those seasonings stick and for some extra flavor, I went in with some more of our mock garlic sauce. And you're going to put these in the oven at 450 for around 20, 25 minutes. you got to check on them. And then I use a little bit of some avocado oil spray. Now just make sure that in the ingredients it's only avocado oil because many times they'll put in other things that you don't want. So I put that on some parchment paper and in the oven they go. Look how beautifully seasoned. Now let's get started with our quinoa. 
So first in our pot goes in some neutral oil. So we use avocado oil or you could use grapeseed oil. And then we put in our diced onions, some cilantro, and then for our dried herbs. So we put in some coriander. And we actually have um, our next video will be how to make quinoa um, a little different from a normal recipe you would see. So I like to put in all the seasonings and get those onions sauteed. It really, really enhances the flavor of the quinoa. So in goes our quinoa. It's on medium heat right now, and we're gonna let it just get slightly, slightly toasted and incorporate that with all of our seasonings and our onions. Now in goes our water. You, I would say about an inch, half an inch to an inch higher than the quinoa is how much water you wanna put in. I don't measure it anymore, I just eyeball it. Now in our cast iron, I have some avocado oil in there and then we're gonna put our portobellos in and we're gonna start cooking them down. And of course we cannot forget any of that delicious marinade. I'm gonna get every little last drop. This marinade was just absolutely delicious. Marinades are so much fun because you can just completely change up, like I said, the flavor. You could do more barbecue, you could do gingery, you could do whatever kind of feel you're going for. Of course, we had to do some green peppers and onions because why not? Onions in every single dish. Now let's flip our portobellos. We're gonna let these cook for a while. And now because mushrooms contain so much water, we're gonna put a clean pan on top. And then I think we actually put a bowl on top too to squeeze the water out. Now we're gonna make our gravy. The gravy is super simple. We're just gonna combine our chickpea flour, AKA or our gar garbanzo flour with some water. Mix it up until you get a very liquidy consistency. Now, at this point, we had steamed the mushrooms as, as well. So after the pot was, the pan was on there, we squeezed all the water out, put the lid on, steamed it for a few minutes until it was to our liking, and cut them. And now the gravy is poured in. I wouldn't pour it on top of the mushroom like I did. I would pour it more on around the pan and see how it just completely thickens up. And we don't even need to season the gravy because there's so much flavor right now in that pan. And then you saw we added just a tiny bit more of coconut aminos in there. Now let's get to our beautiful plating. These butternut squash fries came out really delicious. They were, I didn't really know what to expect because like I said, it was our first time. So they were soft, but I really enjoyed the consistency, the quinoa came out so delicious. It was, it was soft, it was tender, it was flavorful. You can just see the steam coming off there. And now we have these beautiful portobello mushrooms with our green pepper, our onion, that gravy sauce, the marinade. This was an exquisite meal. We really, really enjoyed this. And obviously we have to top with some fresh herbs. We have some cilantro and then this is our homemade ranch sauce that we will definitely let you guys know how to make in the next video for our fries enjoy